Hi, my name is Charlie, and I'm from Short Block Charlie's. Today we're going to talk about uh, TDC lift on camshafts and what happens when we install oversized valves and things that we have to take in consideration. Uh, if you read in the and Andrews manual, what they'll tell you is that you'll take the largest number on the TDC lift and add 60 thousandths and then check the uh, space between the valves. On this particular twin cam head, we're going to be using a 67G cam and the TDC lift is a 209 thousandths and then you add 60 to it, so it would be 269 thousandths. What you'll do is you'll take a, a, a drill bar like we've got here, and this is 265 thousandths, and you try to run this in between the head here to see if it has contact. And if it has contact, then we're going to have to address the problems. And there's a couple ways that we can address the problem. One, you can take and drop the valve seat in to change to help get your uh, TDC lift clearance. Or the other thing you can do is you can take the valves and you can take and put a cut on the face of the valves here so that they won't rub against each other when it gets to TDC lift. Um, the one thing I want to make sure that you understand is that when we do sink the valves, you do one, lose compression, but the other thing is bringing the valve up farther changes the valve protrusion, that's the distance from here to here, and also it'll change the spring pack pressure so that you'll have to shim the, the valves and, and to adjust accordingly. Another way that uh, a lot of the aftermarket heads, when they run a bigger valve in, what they'll do is they'll tab the valve guide angle here, they'll move it like one or two degrees so that we get a separation for TDC lift. Uh, I'm going to show you another way of looking at TDC lift here by opening the valves up to the specified uh, height. Okay, I've got our truck valve lifting device on here. I've opened the intake valve to 209 thousandths and now I'm going to open the exhaust valve to 187 thousandths. There's 150, 60, 70, 80, 187 thousandths. You look here, you can see that the valves are open and you see that you've got a gap there where the valves aren't going to rub or hit and make a ticking noise in your motor. Uh, so you've really got to think this out when you install bigger valves in a cylinder head and on cam choice uh, when you try to determine top head TDC lift.